And it's a serious problem. It's, it's a very, very serious problem. People can watch videos at home, but they have no one to practice with. English with Terry. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is English with Terry. My name is Terry, and today we have a very special guest, a friend of mine, a very cool friend of mine. What's your name, buddy? Gabriel Wallace. Gabriel Wallace, yeah. How do we know each other, Gabriel? Uh, we met through Udemy. We are both Udemy instructors, and we both teach the English language on Udemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and we've connected like the last two years out there, and this is sort of like one of the first times that one of the first times that, that we've ever spoken live, and it, it's it's really cool. You know, it's it's funny because where are you speaking from? Shanghai, China. Shanghai, China. <laughs> and I am in the northwest of Ireland, so it's a very international conversation. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. we're, we're here to talk about a very kind of important topic because one of the big problems I face uh, working online, helping students, is that I make a lot of videos and I make a lot of online courses, but all the time I receive people asking me, please, can you do private classes? And I just don't have the time. I, I literally just don't have the time. Like I, I love all my students. I wish I could teach all of them. I have. I wish I had virtual reality devices and I could just like see them. <laughs> but it's, it's very. It's a bit disconnected, you know. And it's a serious problem. It's it's a very very serious problem for sort of two basic reasons. One is like people can watch videos at home, but they have no one to practice with. Literally, no one to practice with. And yes, one of the great ways you can do that is you can practice alone. You can practice training your speaking alone. And I actively encourage that. But it was a few weeks ago, a friend of mine asked, a uh, student, sorry, he asked me, how can I lose my fear of speaking with foreigners? And one of my answers was that it, a lot of it is about what is the situation where you are practicing. For example, if you are practicing kind of in a work-related situation, for example, I had a student and he works in a hospital. He's like an engineer with a lot of the devices and he received an, a medical expert from the United States. And he said he was almost sick with the anxiety. He said it was like <laughs> so much anxiety. I said, well, why were you so anxious? He said, because I felt like my professional credibility was connected to my English and I felt very anxious about it, you know. And I think one really cool way is to practice during speaking in a relaxed environment. Absolutely. And yeah. You've, and then, you've, you've got a pretty good solution for that problem, don't you, Gabriel? Yeah. What, <laughs> what have I you do. got for us? <laughs> uh, it's called the English Speaking Club. And uh, I, too, get asked uh, all the time, not only, not only uh, do you teach personal lessons, but how can I improve my English speaking? And yeah. it's hard for people to do that by themselves. So I've got a private voice chat group now so that people can join my group, have mm -hmm. full access to speak with me and all of the members every day. So An American this, native speaker, by the way. I'm half American, half English. So you get the best of both worlds, you know? Really? My mother's American, my father's English, and uh, I grew up in both countries. Did you know that, actually? I don't know whether you knew that about No, me. I don't even know which like, city you're from in the States. <laughs> well, the city thing gets complicated because I've moved around a lot. Uh, I've, I've lived in probably about 30 different places. So, you know, it, it, <laughs> Seriously? I don't have a hometown. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, okay. so, anyway, anyway. so how, how does your group work? If someone signs up, how do they start practicing? Right. So I give them a link to get into a private group chat uh, and they can speak by audio, audio messages. Cool. So it's not just text messages. It's something where they actually speak into the phone mm -hmm. and I will reply to what they say with my own voice mm -hmm. and I will give them 
uh, corrections and feedback on what they say, which is yeah. very important. A lot of people, when they go to practice with a native English speaker, they will practice with someone they know, but who isn't really giving them any any corrections. Yeah. They're not uh, they're not giving them feedback so that the person can actually improve and grow their English. Whereas, yeah, a, a lot of native speakers are really just listening to understand. Like they don't care or like worry about if it's correct or not. They're not really going to correct right. you. They're just listening to understand and they continue with their day. Yeah. You know? yeah. But this is, a really, were... this is a really cool, I really like what you're doing because if we think about the, what are the other options for speaking is go to a, a language school. And there's some problems with that, right? Because first of all, it's like I, you have the time and you don't have the money or you have the money, you don't have the time. And I personally, I've, mm. I think language schools can be a good option, but they're really expensive, you know? They are. And one of the big problems is you're like you're going and you're driving in traffic and you're going after work out there, but this system you, it's super flexible, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is that a lot of English learners uh, they get frustrated at themselves for not practicing English because they think that it has to be this big event where they go and they, they practice for an hour or two and they, uh, they have to go somewhere. Like you said, an English language school, they would have actually have to take the time, not just to pay, but to, mm. to go there and then to come back. And even if they have an online teacher, they would still have to uh, block out a certain time period of mm -hmm. their day that's convenient for both them and the teacher. Whereas this solution, literally, it's whenever is convenient for, for you as the English learner. So yeah. you can literally be standing in line for a coffee or you can be on your commute on you the way You can be anywhere. Home. Basically, you could be anywhere and you can you can listen to what other people have been talking about in the group and then you can contribute by saying something yourself in the group. And then later on, you can go back and find out if uh, if you made any mistakes, I will correct you if, uh, cool. if so you get feedback and correction, because that's the big thing about speaking is yeah. that. Many times, even when I was practicing my languages in different countries, it's like, I don't know if I'm wrong or not. Nobody's really correcting me. You know? yeah. But to get that correction, it, it's awesome. You know? Yeah, because people want to be polite. They're, people often don't want to be rude and say, no, you're speaking wrong. Yeah. Right? And, but if you've actually got someone there for the purpose of improving your English, uh, and improving your English every day, then it can really make a big difference. Yeah. And, um, because when I hear about students that they study like, oh, I study one hour a week or I go to a language school one hour a week and I practice speaking and they're doing it like one, one time a week. Mm -hmm. it, it kind of makes me think of like when you're brushing your teeth, it's like <laughs> you cannot brush your teeth seven times in one day for all the week. Hey. You, you need to brush your teeth every day, you know? <laughs> right. That's a great analogy. Yeah. You need to so, brush your teeth every day. You need to, uh, even if you think about your, your own language, like people, uh, I'm sure that you learn even yourself, you learn new English words sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And, and so we don't, we don't get better. We, even at our own language, we don't improve our ability to have a conversation if we don't talk to anyone regularly. I know that if I went uh, a whole week without speaking English to someone, mm -hmm. then if I go and talk with someone after that, Again, I, it will take me a while to feel comfortable doing it mm -hmm. again. And so if it's your second language, then it, 
it's a much more uh, it's a much bigger problem. <laughs> because this is the big thing about students. You know, it, we cannot really measure language learning. We cannot say you need to learn fifty thousand, ten thousand words. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> So the real thing about what I think your speaking club can give someone is much more confidence, you know, where maybe today they feel anxious or stressed or nervous before they speak. I think with, you know, how, how soon can people expect results from your speaking club? Well, when you mention confidence, uh, the big thing about that is that confidence comes out of habit. And so that's where the confidence comes from, is from mm -hmm. the habit of actually being in a group, having a group available for you all the time. Mm -hmm. That's where the confidence comes from. And okay. so I would say that if, uh, if someone is in the group and uh, talking with other people uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, it would only be a few days before the person starts feeling mm. like, oh, I'm, I'm really starting so just to... just three, four, five days and you're already going to feel a little bit more confidence, yeah. Already your confidence is going to, to go up because the act of speaking English with someone on a day-to-day -day basis, it gives you... It's, it's no longer super uncomfortable. It mm -hmm. becomes a more regular activity, something yeah. more comfortable. You just start to feel just yeah, confident and fluent. So let me, let me just uh, remember this. So you're, you're a really cool speaking club. You get voice messages and feedback, direct feedback from you on your speaking. So you get to practice your speaking every single day with a, with a nice speaker. Right. What else do you get? You get a private Facebook group, is that right? Yeah, that's right. You get a private Facebook group uh, where you can get extra resources and support. And very importantly, every month, I will be doing four uh, live video English lessons, which are Ooh. each one hour long. So four one hour live lessons, which will be posted in the private Facebook group and on a, a YouTube private video. So it will only be available to group members, cool. but you can watch it either on Facebook mm -hmm. or YouTube. And those lessons, will be directly related to our conversations in the voice chat group. So the And you're, you're going to give a new, new conversational topic like all the time, right? Right. So yeah, that's one thing we didn't mention is every day we will have a new uh, speaking topic. Mm -hmm. And the reason that's so valuable is because a lot of uh, speakers, when they find practice partners, they fall into the habit of talking about the same things mm -hmm, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, repeating uh, like, stuff. Yeah. yeah, repeating stuff that happens to them every day. And so what happens is they don't really grow their English. They don't see a lot of improvement because they're not going uh, beyond the those same few topics not learning a lot of new vocabulary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but with extra speaking topics every day you get a lot of extra vocabulary so that you get used to being in these other situations speaking english as well mm -hmm. cool man all right you said something about if people sign up they get a course is that right yeah so actually that's uh, if they sign up for the one year membership, then they get a free course. Cool. Um, okay. I've, got, I've got a lot of uh, English language courses on Udemy, just like you. Mm -hmm. And um, they can just go through those courses and pick one that uh, they want me to send them for free. And mm -hmm. if they get the one year membership, they will get that course for you free. I'll send free. them the link. Cool. Awesome, Gabriel. Let's, uh, thanks so much for being a, a guest to my channel. I really need uh, more guests. I've be just been so busy with personal stuff. I don't have so much time to post, but check out Gabriel's really cool speaking club because practicing your English every day is the real solution, is the real way to really get confident and really um, have that life of your dreams that English can give you. you know? And uh, it's a frustration for me because I, I see so many students and they want to practice their speaking and now they have their chance, right? 
So I have check out the link under the description here. Check out Gabriel's YouTube channel. Check it. Check out everything. It's all there, and uh, it's a. I highly recommend it. Gabriel's a super experienced teacher. Really cool guy. Wish I had the money to go visit him in Shanghai, but. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, do you have any last details before we finish up, Gabriel? Oh, I just want to say I really appreciate you having me on as well. Uh, it's it's great to be on your YouTube channel as a guest. Uh, I've been enjoying your YouTube videos as well for uh, a while. I should, I should be a guest on your channel. <laughs> you are invited. Absolutely, you can you okay. can come as a guest on my channel. For sure. Um, for sure. Okay, and, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out his, his club, all the links, all the information below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.